In this video, I'm going to review how to merge drawings. So if you have two drawing files, two DWGs, or even two PDFs, there's a way that you can stitch them together in the same project within Profus Layout Office. So I'm gonna show you two ways. Number one is with DWGs, and number two is with PDFs. DWG is much more common, so let me show you that first, if that's all you need to do. In Profus Layout Office, I have a project that's obviously blank so far, and I have a job here and a second job here, and I'm gonna import a drawing. So I'm gonna import my first drawing that I know that I need to start with. So I'm gonna import this demo mat V9 that I have into the software, and there it is, right? And I've copied this job down here so I can show you how to import two different ways. So I'm gonna import the easiest way first, if this is gonna be applicable to you. And the easiest way is to simply go to import drawing, and you're gonna select the yes to the merge option. And I'm gonna find the drawing, this mirrored drawing that I want to import with this. I'm gonna say import this one. Now, here's the. this is why this is the first way. When I import it, it's gonna ask me, do I want to merge this drawing in its original position? And all this means is in AutoCAD or whatever drafting software that, was, that these drawings were made in, these drawings obviously are made on some sort of coordinate system. And what I mean by that is, let's say that this is the zero, zero coordinate of your drawing. Obviously, this is your positive north of the drawing, positive east of the drawing, etc. If these drawings are made on that same coordinate system, if I bring a drawing in its original position and these drawings were made together or, um, on the same coordinate system, well, this, the new drawing I bring in should fall right into place of where it's supposed to be on this coordinate system. Let me show you what I mean, and if this works for you, great. If it doesn't, there's another way you can do it. So let me show you. So I have another drawing that's simply a mirror of this drawing, and they mirror along this line in AutoCAD. That's how I drew it, that's how I made it. And obviously this is on a much smaller scale than what you might be experiencing, but the button pushes and the principles are the exact same. I'm just keeping it simple. So I'm gonna go ahead and say merge with its original position, and I'm gonna say okay. And you can see when I do that, this drawing was drawn on the same coordinate system as this drawing, and when I do that, you can see that this mirrored aspect of this bathroom that I have over here on the left side was placed right where I had it in AutoCAD. That's the position I had in AutoCAD. I drew this in one position, this in another, and all I told it to do is to just place it right where it's supposed to be on their coordinates, and it did. That's the easiest ways to merge, and now I can use these drawings together, and I should be good to go. If you did that, and you're coming up with weird results, let's say that you did that, you had a drawing here, and you brought in another drawing, and it's bringing it way out in the boonies somewhere. Well, all that means is that the second drawing you brought in, it was on a different coordinate system than the original. That does not mean you can't merge it, it just means you need to do it a different way. So let me show you the second way that you can do a merge with the DWG. So I have my copy drawing down here, same drawing, um, I'm going to do the import function. I'm gonna say yes to merge, bring in that mirrored file that I have, but this time I'm not going to select this merge in its original position. And when I do that, it's gonna invite me to tell it where to put it. So I'm gonna say okay. And you can see I have this little icon here to tell me where to put it. So I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of go over here and put it right here. Now I know that this is the incorrect position, but once I place it in the drawing, automatically the transformation function opens up, okay? So I need to say, okay, I'm gonna transform this drawing, meaning I'm gonna move it and align it to where I need it to be. So I'm gonna, there's a few, wait, there's, there's another transformation video on here of how these different functions work. I'm gonna go ahead and just choose the transformation first option because what this one lets me do is drag aligning points to where I know I need them to be, and you'll see what I mean. So I'm gonna transform this drawing, I'm gonna say next, I'm gonna go ahead and keep this checked, even though I know that this has scaled properly. I always keep that checked if I know I'm dragging the drawing to an already perfectly scaled drawing. It's just my best practice. So the first thing I do, select entities that need to be transformed. Well, these ones here need to be transformed. I'm gonna press enter. And it's now asking me to mark the points that I need to transform it to. So I'm gonna say this point here, this grid three point, I know that this one needs to be matched with this bottom right hand corner over here. And this top one, I think this is grid two, needs to be linked with this one over here. I say transform, and the entities move just fine for me, and that's it. So I now have a transform drawing, and it's good to go, just like I had in the original. So those are the two ways you can merge DWGs, and if there's any questions in the comments, please let me know. 
But now let me show you a little bit less common way to merge drawings. And this is if you have PDFs that you need to merge. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a new project and I'll call this PDF merge. Let me bring in a PDF. I already have a video on this, but essentially when you bring in a PDF, you want to make sure that you bring it in properly. I'll make sure I link that video in the description, but I'll go ahead and make sure this is scaled properly. So I went ahead and scaled that. I sped through it, but go to the link in the description if you need help scaling PDFs when you bring them in. So let's say that I have another PDF that I need to merge to this one. Well, obviously if I come in here and I go to import a PDF, it's going to say the job has to be empty, create a new one. Well, obviously that's not what I want to do because I want to merge two PDFs together. Well, how do you do that? What you need to do is you need to bring in all the PDFs that you need to merge in as their own individual jobs first, and then you need to export whatever you brought in as a DWG after you've scaled it. So you see that I've scaled this one. Let's say I need to merge this with another drawing. I'll go ahead and export this drawing as a dimensions PDF. That's fine, dimensions PDF. And now it's saved as a drawing file, a DWG. A PDF I brought in, and I'm now exporting as a DWG. And now I'm gonna say import drawing, and I'm gonna merge it, right? So I'm gonna merge it, yes. I'm gonna bring in the dimensions PDF. Well now I can merge this one, right? I'm not gonna merge with its original position. I'm gonna just bring it in, plop it over here. And it brought it way down here for me. That's fine. So you see I have this drawing up here that I need to merge it with, and way down here I, I put the other one. So I need to merge this, and I'm going to just simply do the transform function again. Yep. So I'm going to say, yep, I'm going to transform. I need these entities, and this goes with this, and this goes with this. And that is it. That is all I have to do. And it brings it right in. So I hope that helps you understand how to merge, and if there's any questions, please leave them in the comments.